Wow. It looks way too badass. <laughs> I like the goggles. Uh, you know what would be a nice future? That I could mm, uh, rotate. Hello and welcome in everyone to an another Gloomhaven video. And today we're going to talk about how to switch skins in Gloomhaven. And I will show you the basic skins in this video. Maybe a bonus in the end with one extra. But here, the basic skins, how you change them is... Oh, who's this? Oh, that's because I've changed my skin. So when you go here, you have your team. Click on the person icon. And here, alt skin active. And I can switch back to the normal. But just by clicking here, I get the alternative skin. Which one do you prefer? Crystal Archivist or the normal default skin? I like the Crystal Archivist. And now let's go to Craghart. And here. Oh, we are soon unlocking next party member. And his outfit, uh, uh, outfit is Boulder Fist. And the, the default one. I like the normal one. I also played Craig Hart as starting character. And now I quite enjoy this new adaptation as well. I really enjoy this skin. And let's go go to my second character flapper this is the night crawler and oh this one is good <laughs> i want to unlock in th this fella but anyway here's the default skin as you can recognize him from the tabletop i i like to the new one alt skin and let's go to tank angus all right, excuse me. And this new alt skin is... Mm, oh, this is so good. Oh. Forgotten Grow. Scroll of Stamina. Mm. The default skin is still really, really good. But I, n I really dig the second one because he looks way more brutal now. And last but not least, dear and dear Svetlana. <laughs> and I really enjoy the witch doctor design. Mm. And we need and we need to do more si uh, si uh, scenarios. I, li I like the, the regular one as well. But the witch doctor shows the craziness and it fits with the character name of uh, Svetlana. <laughs> Okay, uh, you know what, Sp spoiler. Now, I will show you the Sun character and also how if there is a default, uh, an, an extra skin for, for the Sun character. I don't know, but let's check. And after that, I will show you how you can cheese the search system. Okay, we go here, new mercenary. We need to check the Tinkerer, of course. Uh, he's called Blob. And you want to unlock Spears. Definitely. I did almost forget Blob, though. We will do the sun in a minute. And so, yeah, we have Blob here. And his second skin is... Wow. It looks way too badass. <laughs> I like the goggles. Uh, you know what would be a nice future? That I could mm, uh, rotate. That would be really cool. So I could uh, spectate the character from behind. That would be really nice. Okay. I will switch now to 
my son the character. Select class, son keeper. And this is Serena. And oh, Vent of Storms. Find a skull by an axe and necromancer sanctum and then use it to kill seven ling bones corpses. Mm. I think we have it. Seven living bones, corpses, or living spirits. That one is almost completed. But the music note. Hmm. It's a secret quest. Let's go for the secret quest. And is there a new skin? No. There is not. But... There might be new alt skins later on. But for now, it's just the core characters. So I hope that was uh, for your liking. Uh, I will switch back. Mm, who is missing? Oh yeah, Mind Chief. There we go. And if you uh, want to she's the system with uh, the temple of the great oak you see here we're missing the 10 gold so let's go to gloomhaven we could go to hmm not to the merchant but let's go to the world map and temple of the of the elements travel as you saw we couldn't do anything and eat the berries. Ah, oh, poisoned. Uh, I will skip this and I will just pick one, 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 one. Yeah, don't eat the berries. And the cheese is actually quite simple. Technically, you could do this in the tabletop as well. And now, when we've done the road events and everything, but we decided we are not ready. I feel like I'm not ready for this scenario. Uh, if I really want to cheese this a lot, I I could also get, uh, go for some XP, but I will get so much hate for this, but I don't recommend you to do this at all. I'm just saying if you have issues and you can't go move forward, this is one way to cheat in the system. So here I could decide, okay, here. I do, no, I don't do that. I do this. And I do the action. And now I also do this. I end up, this is just extra. If you want to cheese a lot, you can uh, do all of this. And see, we're getting all the XP. And... You can just abandon quest. You will keep any earned gold, XP and achievement progress. But I don't know, we might have to do it. Uh, hmm. Kill three or fewer monsters during the scenario. Well, didn't. Oh, scenario failed. That's why we didn't get that one. But uh, this way you can get some XP. It's like if you're three XP away from leveling up. <laughs> mm. 
one here. I see, I didn't uh, do it. And now you can go Red Oak and you can bless your character so you get to the new devotion level. And here we are, devotion level 5. And if you want to rush up to full devotion, this is the way you can do it. But it will also eat up your gold and you will waste up tons of bless. I don't recommend it. But it was bonus. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have use of it. And if you haven't done it, be sure to follow uh, me here on YouTube or subscribe, of course, but also check out my live streams on Twitch. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Toodles.